Can you hear us, Tyus? Yeah. All right, we'll go ahead and get started. First question, we'll go to Joe Molinax. Hey, Tyus, how are you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, this weekend, you guys obviously head to Minnesota, uh, right. two games there uh, against the Timberwolves to start the preseason. You've been in Memphis for a year now, but just uh, reflect on your time with Minnesota, the chance to go back there for a couple of games, see Cat and some other guys that you're familiar with from your time with the Timberwolves. Uh, yeah, it's always cool um, getting to go back to Minnesota. Obviously played uh, four seasons there, grew up there from there. So uh, definitely um, enjoy getting a chance to, to get back there. Uh, and, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool getting a chance to play against, you know, some of the guys that I spent a, f a few years playing alongside. So uh, looking forward to it. I know, you know, it's obviously exhibition, but any chance we, you know, get to, to go back there for, for a game, it's, it's always uh, enjoyable. Jace Frederick. Tyus, obviously you came back a couple times, came back last year once. Uh, you get a couple stretches like this with like a, a day off in between a couple of games in Minnesota, but how different does coming home look in the middle of a pandemic? Uh, extremely different. Um, yeah, just I think everyone's trying to navigate, uh, you know, what is, is smart to do uh, in, in trying to, to balance being safe and uh, still still living our lives. So uh, going home is, yeah, we got a couple, a couple stretches, you know, where we go back to Minnesota, but um, it'll just be different just because, uh, you know, in the season, just trying to be smart, be safe and um, not put myself at risk or, you know, my teammates and, and my team at risk. So um, still will enjoy just being in Minnesota, but it definitely will look a, a lot different than, um, you know, a normal, a normal trip back. Drew Hill. Hey, Tyus, I'm curious what kind of holiday shopper you are. Are you an online shopper guy, a last minute type of shopper guy how are you uh how are you going to get your gifts for everybody this uh this holiday season yeah i'm a, i'm um usually pretty last minute holiday shopper uh, me and my fiance usually make one big like christmas shopping trip every year um but this year uh strictly online a um, little bit different but I just got to adapt and, and make it work. So, yeah, this year is, is for sure a lot of online. I'll try, try to plan in advance just because uh, you got to allow for stuff to come in the mail and things like that. So, yeah, this year is, is for sure online. Evan Barnes. Ty, uh, Brandon was telling us that he's kind of been working on his shot and he's kind of overhauled it a little bit. Um, what have you seen just kind of from him and maybe Ja, just, you know, how much different their shots look from, you know, putting in from, some work on the off season? Yeah, uh, both of those guys' shots uh, look great. Um, you can tell they, they spent a lot of, you know, hours in the gym this off season, and that's exactly what you want to see. Um, and the most important thing is they're taking the shots with confidence. Um, and so that's what, everyone's looking for because you know we've seen that they can make shots um and if people are going to let them shoot or dare them to shoot um uh, you know we need them to make them make them pay so you know they're taking shots with confidence um uh, and that's that's the most important thing any other questions for tyus jace frederick guys uh, so haven't had a chance to talk to you since last year missing the bubble what was that like um you know, obviously not having the chance to chase that playoff spot with the team. I mean, how do you feel um, now back in training camp? Yeah, that was, it was tough not being able to get out there uh, with my guys and uh, especially what was at stake. You know, feel, you always feel like you can, you can help contribute and, um, you know, you want to help in, in any way that you can. So that was, it was tough. Um, luckily I haven't had to deal with many injuries in my career. So um, not, used to not being able to get out there. So um, was trying to, you know, just help with film work or, you know, just being an extra, you know, set of eyes, you know, on the sideline. Um, but, you know, I'm a competitor, so I wanted to be out there on the court. Um, so that, that motivated me in this, this off season to, to um, you know, attack rehab, get back healthy and get in great shape and, and be ready to go uh, when the season gets started. Got time for one more. We'll go to Joe Molinax. 
Tyus, obviously this preseason is different than any other you've experienced or anybody's experienced. Uh, it, it's accelerated, you know, less time in camp. Do you approach these preseason games starting this weekend and then heading into uh, the two with Atlanta? Do you approach them any differently because of that? Do you still kind of go through your normal preseason routine? How, do, how does your focus shift uh, given the nature of the preseason uh, being a little bit different this year? Uh, I think you just kind of find a, a middle ground. Um, you got to know – uh, that regular season games are right around the corner. Uh, we don't have a ton of time, so um, you know we gotta approach these games like like real games, um, just in terms of you know our readiness being locked in. Uh, you know, trying to focus on what we want to you know get done and and accomplish. You know, on both ends of the floor. So, uh, but at the same time, they are exhibition games, so they are they are for us to to get into game shape and to iron out the kinks and, you know what I mean, those, those the, you know, things of that nature. So uh, you got to find a middle ground, um, but it'll just be good, I think, for us to play a different team, um, you know, play against other people other than, you know, the guys in our locker room. And, um, yeah, it's just the season's right around the corner. So, you know, we got to gotta lock in uh, and kind of be ready to go. Thanks, Tyus. We appreciate it. Thank you, guys. See you.